Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another edition of The Redonkulous. What? I can't hear you. You're going to have to speak up a little louder, son. Welcome to The Redonkulous! I got to tell you, I... I tell you, I'm having trouble hearing you. First up on the Redonkulous, we got Cam Newton. And we know that he won the Heisman Trophy, but before he was in Auburn winning Heisman Trophies, he was at Florida. And he apparently dropped out or transferred out of school because of an uh, allocation of stealing a computer. Well, the computer that he stole has surfaced, and Cam Newton, when he got caught, chucked this computer out the window. And as you can see, the, wind the computer clearly has his name written all over in giant silver letters. <laughs> Cam, I know you can run fast, but you have to be a little bit smarter than that. But the fact you threw out a computer with everything, all your name and identification on it, it's 100%. Redonkulous! <laughs> Next up in the Redonkulous, we have Tashawn Choice after the uh, Eagles and Cowboys game asking quarterback Mike Vick for an autograph. Okay, uh, Tashawn, you, you do realize you're a professional football player, right? You are the running back for the Dallas Cowboys. You're going over there, and I understand the autograph was for his nephew, but come on, man. He's getting a, a post-game interview, and you go over there and ask him for it. I mean, how groupyish do you look to shard? I mean, that's just 100% Redonkulous. Next up, we have a man by the name of Donald Sterling. And there was a movie recently that could have been about him called Despicable Me. And the guy, <laughs> he, he's just not a savory person. Oh. And recently, he's been sitting at courtside at games heckling his own players. That's right, heckling the own players that he pays, especially Baron Davis. Same telling Baron Davis that he's fat, that he's out of shape, and asking him why he took certain shots and why he's in the game. What? Donald, I have a question for you. How in the world do you still own an NBA basketball team? How come David Stern hasn't kicked you out the league? The fact that you're doing <laughs> this is 100% ridiculous. ridiculous. Well, this is team, you know. Next, we have a hockey fight right after tip-off. Okay, usually you drop the puck, and then you start skating around, and you start going at it then. No, these guys drop the puck. You see both team, Russian teams, they start going at it the whole team. You know what? That's the way hockey was intended. That's the way I like my hockey games. That's the only way I'm going to watch it. And the fact that you guys did it, it's 100%. Redonkulous! Now, boxing is a sport that's supposed to be done in a ring with a ref, but these <laughs> enterprising young men in high school here oh, wow. decided that they wanted to do some boxing in the locker room, putting on some gloves. <laughs> and as you can see, his fighter number two over here gets a number three combo to the jaw oh. and is knocked out plastered laying on the ground. Boom. I mean, come on, son. You, <laughs> you gotta have a strong chin. You like Glass <laughs> Joe out there. This right. is 100% Redonkulous! Redonkulous. <laughs> Next, we have one of the most bizarre and ridiculous videos I've ever seen in my life this guy makes uh, a song called beat the heat and it's the most ridiculous thing. I mean he's got a fake microphone he's got his little he's got his daughter's guitar hero uh, it's pink uh, he has little dolls fighting a gorilla and a, I don't know a, a bear this guy is just strange and then he gets a LeBron spinoff this guy's makeup on his face Look, guy, I understand that LeBron left, but you, you're way more ridiculous than LeBron. And you know what? You're not just ridiculous. You're 100% ridiculous. Next up, we got Gilbert Arenas. No, excuse me, not Gilbert Arenas, but Donovan <laughs> McNabb, who was at a game where Gilbert Arenas was playing. Close. And McNabb was booed at a Washington Wizards game. Oh. All I got to know is, what did this man do in a previous wow. life to deserve the treat? He is the most underappreciated superstar on the face of the earth. The Redskins suck. You can't put it all on McNabb. Yeah. But the fact that the fans would boo him straight up ridiculous. Yes, it is. Next, we have this young high school player, this young whippersnapper, uh, suplexes the referee. Okay, the situation is he gets called for a foul. He disagrees with it. The referee calls a tech, throws him out the game. This guy says, the, the kid doesn't say, okay, I'm out the game. He doesn't even argue about it. He pulls a Rasheed Wallace times 10 and suplexes the ref. The ref had to leave. He said, I'm not doing the game anymore. Kids, what are you doing? Learn some respect. This is 100% ridiculous. Sometimes pictures speak louder than words, and sometimes videos speak louder than words. If you watch Willis McGahee playing over to my left and to your right, you will see him rocking out to Miley Cyrus, party in the USA. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, son, you can't do stuff like this. You're a grown man. You're a football player. You cannot be on video singing Miley Cyrus. This is 100% ridiculous. Next, we have the Belfast Giants. And they're going to do a Mariah Carey, All I Want for Christmas is You retake. I mean, honestly, it's hilarious. It's funny. It's a little metrosexual for my taste. But these guys did it tastefully. Look at the guy in the elf suit. It's absolutely hilarious. 
but these guys they had the gonads in the manhood to make this this ridiculous tape. But you know what? Again, it's not ridiculous. It's 100% ridiculous. Next up, we got a double dose of balls to the head in various games. Wow. First Whoa. up, we have this young <laughs> tween who's running down the sideline uh, at a Nets Hornets game when an air pass slaps her in the back of the head and says, "Sit down, child." And then after that, you have this soccer match over here where you see this ref running alongside a play. The ball gets kicked. I don't know where this guy's trying to kick the ball to, but it hits the man in the back of the head and his toupee pops off like a oh. pop, rock and pop him <laughs> robot. Come on, son. <laughs> Glue your toupee on your head. Oh. This is 100% ridiculous. ridiculous. <laughs> like a head. Oh my gosh. Next Yum. we have 122 year old Joe Pop. He's on the Mad Dog Show in Tampa. What? Uh, and he can't hear. You're going to have to speak up, Sonny. I mean, Joe Pop, look, you can't hear. What, if you can't hear this guy doing an interview, what makes you think you're going to hear the plays called in the game? Look, man, it's time for you to go sit down somewhere on the couch and watch reruns of, of uh, That's My Mama, okay? Come on, Joe Pop. That's 100% ridiculous. Next up, we got Kobe Bryant. When he went to the White House to meet Obama, oh, yeah. Obama I was kind of jabbing at him and said, Jared, Jared Rose has your number. Yeah. And then Kobe responded back to Obama and said, well, I'll be sure to pick up after the fifth ring. Ooh. Ooh, take that, President Slim. Take that. Ooh. What you going to say? Don't mess with Kobe. The man is an assassin. He's a killer. He'll go over there and kill a Russian president for you. But the fact <laughs> that they had his little banter is 100 cents. Ridiculous. <laughs> Next up. Okay, this guy here, let me tell you, Sasquatch, we've got a new co-star for your little beef jerky commercial. And a, and a picture says a thousand words. Please take a look at the man to your right, at his back here. That's right, there's an A carved into it. I'm not going to say anything else. I can't stand to look at it anymore. It's 100% ridiculous. Jose Canseco is somebody oh that we wish God. would just disappear. Oh. But apparently, he still wants to get back in baseball. He took to his Twitter page the other day what? and says, I will not give up on the dream of playing in the majors again. If a team gave me a chance, I would not let them down. Jose. Jose. No, son. What? You're not playing baseball anymore. You snitched on half the league. Nobody <laughs> likes you. Your wife said your ball shrunk. You can't hit ball. You, just, just be quiet. This is ridiculous. And 100% ridiculous. He probably was drunk when he was tweeting that. Probably. Next, we have Dana Stubblefield, formerly of the Washington Redskins, McNabb's Redskins. He's in jail for stealing his ex's mail. Well, I'll tell you what. Dana was known for ripping through offensive line when he played, and now he's ripping through his ex's mail. I mean, good gracious, Dana. You need to stop ripping, son. You need to rip and dip. You're going to be in the jail ripping and dipping, son. This is 100% ridiculous. So nice, gangster. Next up, we got Brett Favre. Brett Favre, I can't stand this man. He found a way to be in the news again. Uh, after ending his 297 game streak of starting games, uh, Brett Favre has started hawking merchandise commemorating his his record-setting record. Setting record. Oh, yeah. I mean, Brett, just disappear. Retire. Go away. Go to the <laughs> ranch. Wear your Wranglers. Pack shoes. Be a cowboy. Do whatever you want to do, but just get off my television. The fact that you're doing this is 100% ridiculous. <laughs> Next up in the news, we have Mr. Pac-Man Jones. Adam Jones of the Cincinnati Bengals had his wages garnished because he went and leased a Lamborghini and a Phantom, what was it, a uh, Rolls, Rolls Royce. Royce? Oh my gosh, and he, and he wrecked it. So now his garden, his wages are garnished. He makes 32,000 a week. We're supposed to cry, ah, ha, ha, ha. You know what, Adam, all these luxury cars, your whole career has been ridiculous, man. Not just that, it's 100% ridiculous. And apparently he must have been taking financial advice from Darnell Darnell oh, wow. Dockett. Because apparently wow. Darnell Dockett got on Twitter the other day and said this, Dear Mr. Bill Collector, you can't stop calling me because I'm not paying no bills until we win a game. Stop trying to block your number. I know who you are. Uh, no. Clark Howard doesn't agree with your investment strategies or wow. your business strategies. And Pac-Man Jones needs to stop listening to your advice. Dude, you make millions of dollars. If you're holding out for a win, you might be holding out to next year. <laughs> the fact yeah. that you're doing this is 100% ridiculous. And that's it for the Thursday night sports party ridiculous remix. That's Remember, right. Every, every, every. You can catch us every Thursday night at www.tnspsportsnet.com. And until next week. Stay classy, Atlanta. Stay classy. Stay classy. Stay classy.